In our last video, we covered what are pathogens, and we know that the three types are bacteria, fungi, and viruses. In this video, we are going to look at how do pathogens cause disease, and to start, we will take a look at bacteria. So, bacteria cause disease when they enter our body, and they produce what is known as toxins. Now, toxins are byproducts that are produced by the bacteria as it survives, grows, and reproduces. And the problem with toxins is that they damage our cells and cause us harm. So when one bacteria, the C. coli bacteria here, breaches our defenses and finds itself in a place where it can reproduce, it quickly reproduces and one, in a couple of hours, become hundreds and thousands. So from one bacteria, you then have a lot and each of these bacterial cells are producing toxins. So in a short amount of time, a bacterial infection can then be in a situation where it is releasing these toxins, which are going to start causing harm to our body. And as you can see down here, these human cells getting on with their business aren't very happy about it. So, that is how bacteria cells cause harm. And next, we are going to look at viruses. Viruses behave slightly different. They are much, much smaller than bacteria cells, and they behave in a very different way. And what they do is, firstly, they will breach our body, and then they will attach to the cell. They will then be inserted into the cell and start replicating. Inside this cell, millions of small viruses will be produced until the point where that cell becomes damaged. So viruses cause cell damage. So much to the point that that cell may actually burst. And when that bursts, all of the viruses which have been reproduced in that cell then are released into the body again to go on and infect the surrounding cells. And this causes massive damage to our cells and our body and can do a lot of harm. So that is how pathogens cause disease. We know that bacteria produce toxins and viruses cause cell damage. Fungi do much the same as bacteria in that they can live off our skin, cause irritation, and produce toxins. So that covers this learning objective, and next we will look at how our body stops pathogens getting in.